So part of being an adult is admitting when you're wrong. And you might be thinking, you mean like those glasses and that haircut? Well, yeah, sure, those are real things that I am not right about. But really what I'm talking about is shopping for meat at the canned food section at my local Winco. I've made mistakes and I'm gonna pay for them today. Today we venture back into the world of the weird with the Loma Linda fried chicken with gravy. Now right away, you gotta know when the chicken isn't spelled correctly, it's not chicken. Just like when you buy crab and it's spelled with a K, it's not crab, it's another thing. She might be asking herself, what is fried chicken? And the actual correct question would be, is, uh, is what are fried chicken because it's about 95 things look at that list but basically it's a vegetarian type textured vegetable protein and some other bullshit i asked mark from eat carbs outdoors if i could use his fire pit and he was totally cool about letting me borrow it so thanks buddy today i'm going to fry my chicken using wood pellets and this hexamine tablet. So I'm gonna put my wood pellets in here. That should probably be enough. I put that tablet in the center. I'm gonna light the tablet and hope that that fires off the whole business. Okay, there we go. Here's my uh, beer can chicken pot stand. Well, while those uh, wood pellets heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my priority straight. Cheers. Oh, it's awful. Why would anybody drink this shit? Well, it fits my theme of bad decisions. Boy, I really need to get my hair cut. Huh. I gotta say, it makes a pretty nice looking flame. All right, let's take a look at this chicken. I'm not overly optimistic about what we will find inside here, but who knows? Could be okay. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that at all. I will say the people at the chicken place actually made a reasonable attempt to make this appear to be meat. So, actually not too shabby from an appearance standpoint. We're just going to go ahead and heat her up and see what it looks like, or it tastes like, I should say. Holy crap, look at that flame coming up the side of the cup, man. Them wood pellets are really burning. Uh, that's a gasifier type stove and uh, yeah, we'd be gasifying. So since this is not actually meat, I should just be able to eat this uncooked. It has no way the flavor or uh, texture of chicken or the flavor of chicken. Unless you call it chicken. Holy crap, them pellets be rolling like a freight train. Woo woo! To add to my chicken, I'm gonna put in some of this Spanish rice from Nor, which is, uh, you know, just more fake food, so it should be a complete meal. Holy balls. I'm gonna try to zoom in on some of that gasifier action. You can really see those jets just cooking away in there. It's working great. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Well, this is the finished product. Uh, hard to see there. Let's give her a taste test. It's sticking to my spoon. Rice is good. Let's try rice and chicken. Um, thanks, plain. It tastes like, I don't know, I gotta come up with a really good simile. I'll be right back. Okay. So, in the first Anchorman movie, Ron Burgundy, Paul Rudd is wearing Puma cologne. And then later in the movie, He's walking through the newsroom and people are describing what the Puma cologne smells like. That's what this tastes like. And if you haven't seen that movie, you should because it's hilarious. Jesus Christ, my hair is not... It's not about my hair. It's goddamn truck. Okay, it's actually not that bad, but it's not that good. Here's another look if you need proof. I don't look like anything. This chicken stuff is just not, oh, it's no good. Well, anyhow, hope you enjoyed Canteen Cup Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Truck!